So, today we'll show we're going to be talking about the crud. The crud. And how to keep from getting the crud. So, yes. we're talking about life and balance. Mm -hmm. And, you know, we're coming in the fourth quarter. It's a flu season. We're in October. Yes. Um, you know, the chances of you getting crud of some kind. It's out there. Pretty high. <laughs> if you have young children in school, the chances are even like triple or quadruple. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. Because they're going to be bringing it home. Yes. Um, so, what are we, we're going to be talking about how to keep from getting the crud and all that kind of stuff. But we're in October. And I want to mention that it's Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Yes. It's also National Chiropractic Month. And because mm -hmm. of you know, it's National Chiropractic Month, you have a special you want to tell them? We have a special National Chiropractic Month. You can come into the office and you get a free Titron scan. Now, that's a pretty in-depth scan of how your body is functioning so you know what's going on in your nervous system. And it may relate to some pain or chronic issue that you may have. It may not. It may relate to digestive issues. It may relate to uh, issues going on with uh, anything from cravings and foods to, to the crud to, even. Yeah, to the crud why, even. why do you get the crud yeah. all the time? So it's going to be very specific to your body and it's actually, you can come in and get this free of charge, it's crazy not to do that. Yeah. So you can see where Normally your body's Normally you would functioning. pay for it by the way. Yes, Normally it's, it's normal it. value, but you can come in and find that out and you can call 904-683-8177. We'll schedule you for that opportunity and uh, we'll sit down with you and show you where your body is functioning, where are the challenges and the pitfalls that may be um, in, in, in the situation and how you can possibly take those taken care of. Yeah, you could also go to mm -hmm. vibrantlifehealthcenter.com and you can actually yes. sign up for an appointment there. You can sign up for the newsletter. You can go to their blog, read. There's tons of articles yes. and all kinds of really good stuff. You know, we're talking about the crud today. Now, what is the crud? I mean, you know, what is the crud? Everybody says, I got the crud. Well, you know, it can be a cold. It can be a flu. It can be, and you know, there's a plethora of options there is, or deviations of that. There are a lot of times you get a cold-like Thing and you don't know what the heck it is. Yes, you know, I got a fever, I got right. nausea, or, right. you know, I just feel cold all over. Right, I got diarrhea. You know, There's problems that it's just you're sick and you're yeah. like, I, I got the crud. You know, the alarm goes off in the morning and you wake up and go, oh, man. Right. <laughs> and a lot of times people will get it now and they don't go to the doctor because they know that if you go to the doctor and they give you antibiotics, it's like not going to do anything. Yeah. So, you know, unless you have a bacterial infection of some kind, the antibiotics ain't going to do squat. That's right. It's, it, could so, be, it could be a viral issue. You don't know. Right. You know? And most, most colds and flus of the many variants that there are out there are, are viral. They're, yes. not, they're not bacterial. Now, you may have a, a bacterial infection on top. Right. Exactly. And, and as a matter of fact, a lot of times you do get that. I remember I used to get sinusitis mm -hmm. all the time. All the time. And if I got a cold, I'd get sinusitis. And then it would yes. take like three months to get rid of the sinusitis after the cold was gone. Like in a week, right? right. <laughs> yeah, exactly, right? And that's, you know, we talked about in an earlier show this month about immune, immune system weaknesses and, and when it breaks down and how that affects you. Right. And that's what you're talking about. You, you get the crud, it weakens your immune system, and, and you, know, you don't stop. Right. You don't go to the doctor. You're still going to work. You're still going to take care of the kids. You're still doing everything you're doing. You're just... Kind of try to decide, to decide how what I got a man up and, or a woman up and I got to do this. Right. And that's why I'm so excited about the Life and Balance program. I mean, we're talking about the Life and Balance show, but this this show comes from this new Life and Balance program right. because it's designed to make your life in balance. I mean, mm -hmm. if you have a plan to look at what's not going well and look at what is doing well, and then put together steps to make improvements. It's you're going to be a happy camper. You are. Because I mean, you're going to know what your issues are specifically rather than just like we talked about before. I'm going to go and grab this off the shelf or this off the shelf because I've heard that my friend had really good luck with it. Right. Well, your body might not need it. Right. And so you might even do more harm than good by yeah. trying that philosophy. One of, the, one of the previous shows where we talked about nutrient testing and so on, that, that's all about you know understanding what your body needs and what you don't need. Yes. And in, in this article that you wrote this, this week, we're talking about, you know, things that you can use to, to sort of keep the crud away. Right. And again, prevention is usually way better. Way better. Way better than trying to deal with it mm -hmm. after the fact. I mean, I'm the kind of guy that if I get a tiny sniffle, you're, you're I'm, gonna, I'm gonna start taking action oh, yeah. today. <laughs> because by action. the time you realize that the sniffle is something else, That's right. it's, or, or it's already too late. And it's much harder for your body to fight it off Right. Than to once you it. got it than, than to, to, to keep it out, keep it yes. at bay, if you will. Right, exactly. In, in your in your article, the first thing you talk about is vitamin C. And, you know, vitamin C, people have been using it for a long time, but it wasn't until recently yes. that they actually realized 
from and scientific studies that it was really a useful thing for people. It is a useful thing, but here's some of the keys to the research that we find that we, we, we unfortunately we missed. I think we read the first couple sentences and that was about it in some sort in some of these studies. Because everybody waits till they have the sniffle and then they start pounding the vitamin C. Well, right. the research shows that that's actually not effective. Right. It doesn't work. You've got to understand where your vitamin C levels are and you know, like we've talked about, it's the fourth quarter. We right. know that we're going to start getting cold here in Florida. The rest of the country is going to get cold. Right. And flu season and all the things, the crud season is here. So what do you do to get, get you know, ahead of that? What is the plan? Well, start taking some vitamin C. Get it in the body. Get ahead of it for prevention so that you can do that. And before that, test and see where your vitamin C level right. is so that you can find out with the micro-macronutrient micro testing. So you can start to really plan what you really need to do to yeah, go ahead. I, I know that I take in the off season, which is summer and so on, as so I take a thousand milligrams a day, and I don't take it all at once because I've, I've, I believe that it, your body can only absorb so much. Well, yeah, definitely. Yeah. So I take 500 milligrams in the morning, and if I take 500 milligrams in the evening, and mm -hmm. that usually works pretty good for me. Right. In the season when people are attacking me with all their crud stuff, I take 2,000 milligrams. So yeah. I double the dose, but I still spread it out because I've read lots of studies that say that you can only absorb 500 milligrams. So if you take the 1,000 milligram one, you only get you know, you're going to urinate out the rest of it. I mean, yeah. So by taking it and, and, and spreading it out, mm -hmm. it actually, they, they say it works better. And that's a great plan because that's a preventative plan that right. you have to get your body to make sure uh, that you're going to be in the, in the position where your body has enough and sufficiency so that you're not going to be able to. I always found it was interesting that the British discovered, you know, vitamin C for the most part because that, that, they started giving their sailors, you know, yeah. fruits and stuff they started taking oranges on the boats and they found that the sailors didn't get scurvy and on top of that you know they knew about all this stuff for a really really long time but it really wasn't until like the early 1900s that they actually discovered yes. what vitamin c was and why it worked and all this other kind of stuff and in medicine in general i've always found that they're behind the curve that there's lots of things that that doctors have known that work right but there's no scientific evidence that they've been able to be able to put together to understand why it works. Right. And, and in some instances, for it wasn't that long ago, probably 40 years ago, that they were talking about chiropractic in the same sense. They were saying, oh, that's a quacky thing and all this yes, kind of stuff. Yes, exactly. And now there's lots and lots of research that shows, no, you're wrong. Yeah. That it's really, really helpful for a lot of different things, especially if you use it in combination. And that's what's so interesting about Life and Balance. Life and Balance yes. is not about chiropractic. Life and Balance is not about weight loss. Life and balance is not one about thing. It's about looking at the big picture. Yes. And making a plan that will make your life exactly. Balance. You know, I always talk and we always say, you know, you're going to make a plan to retire. You're going to make a plan to buy a house. You're going to make a plan to do these things. What have you done to plan for your health? Right. You know, and this is no different. And what the reality you, is, if you lose your health, you can't buy it back. Most. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's the old fable. The fable yeah. is. You spend your youth to get, gain your wealth, and you spend your wealth to regain your youth. Yeah. That's the old fable. We don't want to do that. We want to be ahead of that game. Well, they haven't come up with that kind of injections yet that will do that, <laughs> that I've seen. No, nope, but they have come up with a plan. That life and balance plan is a plan that's going to lay it out for you so you can start taking Well, you can be the best that better. you can be. I mean, if you're yes. really paying attention to what you really need to look at versus guessing. Exactly. The I mean, chances of you having a very healthy and productive life is, is pretty high. Yes, exactly. And that's what it's about. And that's what we talk about with the crud season is, you know, what do you know? Do you know that your vitamin C level is at the right level? Is it? Are you doing harm to yourself by giving your body too much of what you don't need? Yeah. Uh, to find out those things is very critical. Yeah, I know that one of the, all the rage today is vitamin D. Vitamin you D3. People talk about yes. D3. And here's one of the vitamins, you know, that I've read that you can actually take too much of. Yes, okay. yes, it is. It you is, know? is, is and, uh, and, but how do you know whether you got enough or not? Well, the only way you're really going to know is you got to go get that vitamin D test. you got to get the vitamin D test. You can get that evaluated, and you can know. And then the other interesting thing about it is, even up to now, what is the real right amount to have in your body? Because some people say, well, it's, it's just over 24, and you're, 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 you're not in the risk factor. Right. Well, that's great. But really, you know, people, they're saying that uh, if you're, you want a high operating immune system, then you want something that's, you know, 60 or 70, right. you know? And so that's a big difference in being 24 yeah, and safe. Yeah, I remember you know? I read this article how they discovered vitamin D, and they had this hospital ward where they were doing all kinds of testing for flu. Yes. And in one ward, they were giving people high doses of vitamin D, 
and they noticed that that ward, nobody got the flu. Right. <laughs> exactly. But on the other wards, they got the flu, and then they said, well, maybe there's something to do with vitamin D. So they started doing the testing by that yes. way, and that's what they discovered, that vitamin D really helped the body. It helps the immune yeah. system immensely. Right. And today, I read several articles that they know that vitamin D is interactive in many, many different functions of the body. Yes. Not just, same way with vitamin C. The reason you take vitamin yeah. C, it actually interacts with all kinds of parts of your body. It it's does. not just one little thing. They're not magic bullets. They're like... I don't know, the sponge that sort of cleans everything. Yeah, exactly. You know, it they're, works they're, in a lot of different areas. They're the, you know, they're, they're, they're the components of your body that needs to make sure that all the other things are happening the way that they're supposed to. And they, they, they can assist, they can speed things up, they can slow things down. It, 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 it's a very interesting aspect. You know, a lot of times vitamins can be, you know, we, have, we know vitamins and we know hormones and we know all these things. And a vitamin or a, can be a hormone. And a hormone can be, you know, the, yeah. it can do a lot of things in the body. And it does. Research is proving this. Uh, and so, but when you're deficient, the system starts to shut down. And right. That's where we have a yeah, problem. Yeah, and Peter starts to steal from Paul and so on. The body starts, you know, snatching stuff from wherever it can get it because it's going to, the manufacturing doesn't stop unless it has to because it's absolutely totally exactly. depleted. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. You talk about echinacea, and I've, for me, echinacea has never worked really well, but for my wife, it works extremely well. Bioindividuality. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. But yes, it, you know, echinacea can do some great things. It can really boost the immune system. It can help the body function more effectively in, in a specific challenge especially. Now there's something echinacea that you can come in and when you get something you can start using right. because it's not something you have to have beforehand and make sure your levels are right. That's a tool you can use and come in with when you get the sniffles. Right. You start doing echinacea and it'll help you. I know for me, I make sure that I take a lot of zinc, but I'm going to bring this up because Echinacea and zinc and all these other different kinds of supplements, they're not all the same. No. So, you know, I mean, there's, there's a huge variation in yes. the quality of these products out there. Not only that, the delivery system of the product can be very yes. different. So if you grab a zinc, you know, lozenge and throw it in your mouth, the likelihood of it doing anything is probably nil. Exactly. Because it needs to be on certain parts of your body it does. to have an effect. <laughs> it does. And that's what's amazing. You know, that's why we always you know, tell people, come in the office, and we can kind of walk you through that process. The things that we have in our office, we've specifically researched. we found out how they're effectively getting into the body. And these types of supplements we have here that I even have today, uh, there's a resonance to them that makes the cellular structure even accept them faster. Mm -hmm. And so that technology is amazing when it comes to supplements, and we can do some great things with that. Yeah, I mean, the reason I brought that up, uh, when I read the study of how they used zinc originally, the guy would crush up this powder, and his yeah. daughter would, like, snort it. Yeah. And that's what got, got her through the flu type of thing, right. I mean, if you will. And when you when you taking zinc people aren't doing that I mean no no, no now no. they do make swabs that you can do yeah and that essentially does what his daughter was doing yes. when they were discovered that kind of stuff and they also have ones that melt in your mouth so they coat all your throat and so yep. on so there's lots of different kinds of things and there's lots of different variations so the zinc malate and there's all these different kinds of zinc and mm -hmm. vitamin D is usually easy because it's there's one kind of vitamin D3 well you got D3 you got some other variations of that that you can D5 you got some things you really want to focus on the D3 that's yeah. the one that really everybody's going to want you to have and vitamin C is not all equal either so no there's lots of different cheap vitamin C's yes. and good vitamin C's a lot of people put sugar in vitamin C right. we talked about sugar a lot and it's it's not the best thing to have yeah. I know we got about one minute before we got to go to a break um, you know today's tip we're going to talk about you know best thing to do to keep from getting the crew. Right. What are the steps you take? What are the things we can get done to make sure that so, you are the best prepared? So if this season you want to avoid getting the crud, you want to stay tuned after this break so that you can learn all about that and not get the crud. Yes, right. So <laughs> we'll be right back. <laughs> Hi, it's Dr. John Thomas again from Vibrant Life Health Center. We're talking about a tool that's going to benefit you today. A lot of people come into the office with chronic neck pain, back pain, shoulder pain, sciatic pain, and they're wondering what is the real problem. This tool that we call the Titron can identify where those problems really are in your body without any inaccuracy. So it gives us a really good opportunity to identify specifically what we need to do chiropractically to take care of your issues so we can lead to resolution. Whether that be a headache issue, whether it be a chronic shoulder problem, a neck problem, and through this process of using the Titron we can identify specifically how our care is going to be focused on those issues to address what you have specifically. 
The cool thing about this is that you don't have to question where your issues are. And we can do this because we have a special running right now where you can come in and have a, a Titron scan at no charge here at Vibrant Life Health Center. Okay, we're back. So, we're talking about keeping the crud away. Yes. So the tip, tip of the week is, you know, how do you keep the crud away? How do you keep the crud away? You know, we talk about rest is very important. We'll talk about that more a little bit more in the show. But we want to make sure we're rested, well rested. We want to make sure that we're uh, taking care of ourselves because a lot of things that we do ourselves can weaken our bodies. Yeah. You know, nutritionally. Over exercising. Yes. Not eating right. But you know, I'm a big believer in that. If you're in, if you're being exposed to a lot of disease, you want to ramp up your immune system. And we were talking yes. about this. You know. People wait till they get sick and then they start throwing down the vitamin right, C. Right, exactly. We'll just take it every day. Yeah, put it more in the preventative plan. Right. Make a plan, you know, we're getting into the fourth quarter. We want to make sure that you're ready for this. So if you don't want the crud, you've got to take steps before you get it. Right. That's really the essence of what we're trying to say for the tip of the yeah, day. And if you get sick all the time, if you're really, like a flu and cold season comes and you get five of them, you probably need to go in and get some nutrient testing and, yeah, and there's some there's Titron some... scan stuff going on to see what the heck's going on there. Because more than likely, you have some systemic issues right. that need to be dealt with. Because I don't care who you are, how old you are, how young you are, you shouldn't be getting sick all the time. No. If you're getting sick all the time, mm -hmm. something's out of balance. Yes, it since is. this show is about getting life back into balance, yeah, we've got to take care of that. <laughs> Maybe you ought to go ahead and fix that. Right, exactly. But that's really prevention is the key. Yeah to stay away from the crud, and that's our tip. Do the right things, find out where your nutrition is, find out where your vitamin C, your vitamin D levels are, and, and also make sure that you have the right products ready to go, because even when you get it, you get that sniffle, right. you do the right things, and that sniffle can go away in a day, and you never got anything else. Right. If and you do it key. right away, if you jump on it like there's no tomorrow, yeah. okay, you don't have it tomorrow, you gotta do it today, Yeah. It, it, it'll go away, you won't right. get it. And exactly. all the other people around you will be like, hey, I'm sick. That's right. <laughs> They won't be at work, and you will be. That's right. <laughs> well, they'll be in bed, you know, trying to watch, you know, I don't know, 50 versions of Games of Thrones or something. <laughs> um, you know, one of the things I found was very interesting, that chiropractic adjustments oh, yes. can actually be very effective and actually boosting your immune system. They do. Actually, the research out there proves that when we do chiropractic adjustments, we actually do it. We use, we use a boost. There's a there's a general boost of endorphins. There's a boost of the immune system. It raises its activity level throughout. Not only just where you're adjusted, right. the whole body right. gets affected by it. And that's that really means big. your white blood cell counts improve and all this other kind of stuff. In case you're so, wondering, yeah. we're not just doing magic. It's, no, here. no, that's that's <laughs> not it. Your your system and how your body functions, the white blood cells, the red blood cells, how everything's functioning in the body. Even blood pressure can be affected by it. So yeah. when you're getting into that scenario, you talk about it. If you're in a state where you are sick, I have patients that will call and say, well, I can't come for the adjustment today. I don't feel well. I'll be like, wrong. That's I want you, want, you in here you want twice to come this in, right. week. You know what I mean? Because I want you to come in and get adjusted to make sure that your body is here. And, and also, while they're there, I mean, we have several supplements we do. We'll talk about here. But th maybe they need to come in and get some of these and start doing it. Because, again, a lot of guys especially are bad about this. They'll wait till the last second. They'll oh, wait yes. they're dying. Yeah. I'm dying. I'm sorry. I'm gonna do that. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Where you know, if they just if if they tackle it before it gets out of hand, yes, the problem will go away quickly. The reality is, if you attack a cold or a flu very hard in the beginning, the length of it will be shortened oh, dramatically. Absolutely. Absolutely. But if you wait, it could be what would be a week and a half it turns into thirty days. Exactly. Okay. And I, I think that you just have to jump on it. So let's talk about, this is one of my favorite things. So talk about yes. your nuclear immune and why you like it. I love nuclear immune. When I, I always tell my patients, everyone should have this in their medicine cabinet. This should be definitely something you should have in there uh, because nuclear immune is a supplement that's actually all plant-based. It's designed specifically. It's got two specific proprietary blends to boost the immune functions in the body. I know it's got lots of really cool stuff in it. It I mean, does. I'm sort of a guy who's an herbalist. Like, yeah, really he likes a lot of stuff. stuff. Yeah, and but it's you know, got everything that I would normally take, but it's all in one thing. You don't have to buy five different things or right. ten different things. It's all in one, and it's all plant based. It's all clean, it, and again, this is a resident frequency. Uh, again, so your cellular structure can accept it really quick. Uh, it has no excipients in it, so there's no 
toxins. There's no uh, disruptors that would be right. attached to it to come into the body and really. So if you're on a weight loss program or something, this is not going to cause you to gain weight or anything like that, right. too. So that's pretty cool. Exactly. And so it just boosts it. It boosts cellular regeneration. It boosts the immune system. It boosts cellular energy. So I, when you do that, your body can actually. It's like a supercharger to your immune system. So here's some really cool, like Corella. I used to buy Corella by itself and kelp yep. and so noni. on. Noni. Noni by itself. Um, I know it's got several of the mushrooms in here. Yes, medicine of the mushrooms are in there. It's, so. it's just got really a whole bunch of stuff. And I was does. buying a lot of these individually, and this really sort of solves yeah. that issue with just one. And how I tell you, know, I, t I had give people a specific plan of what happens. You start to get that sniffle, there's a certain action that you take with this. And then if it gets worse, then you even take a next step with it. Right. And, then, and that's what we do with nuclear immune. This is definitely something everybody should get a hold of. Now, if you don't know about colostrum, this is another product that I know that you really like to use. Yes, I really like to use this. And kind of this is what I bring this into when we're taking those additional steps as I bring this in. Because this is yet another thing proven so deeply in research to help boost the immune system function. You know, colostrum, if a lot of people don't recognize it, that's why breastfeeding is so important when you're raising right. babies. Is because in the colostrum is all the antibodies, it's all the immune boosters right. that an infant that won't have in their body on right. their own. Right, babies don't have these immune, actually a baby's immune system is not fully formed from right. Ryan's until they're six or seven. So six or seven, yeah, right. exactly. So, so this is a big deal for young children, but guess what, if it helps them, yeah, and it helps adults and too, and it helps. And it's, it's it's amazing. So this is what you integrate into it. You get this when you have to go in. When you get something, you put these two. This is actually my personal one-two punch yeah. for when I get the crud and things like that. Because you know I've got to get in the office. I've got to just do things. This has got to get me there. Yeah, and you got to touch people who are sick and all this other exactly. kind of stuff. So in, in in the fourth quarter, you're <laughs> sucking that stuff I'm, down. I'm in on this, so for sure. Uh, I have taken Umka. This is another. This, in my opinion, this is really good for flu. It is. It yeah. is good for flu. It's a great product. That um, and another one I would say is elderberry. Elderberry. Those yes. Those two for flu. Elderberry extract. Yes. Yeah. Very good. Actually, I, I've done that before when I had the flu. I did the Umka and the elderberry extract. Yeah, again, they're not all equal. There's lots of companies out there making elderberry. Yes. As you know what kind of berries are in it. But you want to make sure that you get a high quality product that's, you know, UL tested and so on, those kinds of things. If you can get a third-party verification that it's a good product, that's another thing. That's, that's a, a, that's a really good thing. It's a big yeah. deal for sure. This is, you know, here's one right here. On our supplements, we have GMP, right. which is a third-party certifier that all the products are handled properly. Because, again, potency varies tremendously. Mm -hmm. Not only that, one of the tricks that some of these manufacturers do is they change the amount of stuff that's in the individual pills. Yes. So you think you're getting a deal on mm -hmm. something, but you got to take 10 of the pills. So yes. the bottle lasts five days. So yeah. You're gonna buy five bottles to get through the month. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so yeah. you really have to read the ingredients and really, if not, then get somebody who really knows what they're doing, like Dr. John, who could show you the ins and out of that stuff. One of the other ones you mentioned was uh, in your articles, and by the way, on the blog, yeah. there are several articles about you know boosting your immune system. So you want to go there and read those articles because they're very helpful. Yeah, we have a two part just on the yeah, crud. That's that's right. There's a two part crud one. So you read part one and part two. <laughs> that way you can get both cruds. <laughs> uh, there's a the piece on there about mucilage of oats. Tell me about that. You know, it's it's pretty interesting when you look at mucilage of oats because a lot of people don't understand. You know, oats. Okay, well that's a grain that's going to be not good for my body, it's got gluten, there's a lot of bad press, unfortunately, with right. this. But again, like we always say, it's about what's in it and how it's been made right. that's key. But mucilage of oats has some great effects, and especially w one of the things that we use the mucilage of oats for is because when you're cooking the oats, it's actually the top of it right. that you're skimming. Right. That has such an amazing healing quotient in the body, boosting the immune system again getting the cellular re regeneration going, set cellular energy up. And so it's not actually eating the oats, it's actually taking that top skim coat and then getting that into your diet structure so that you can have it. And a, a lot of people out there make you know smoothies and stuff like that and they use different kinds of proteins. And guess what, proteins are not all equal. No. I mean there's egg protein, there's milk protein, there's whey protein, there's pea soy protein. protein, there's pea. Actually there's... there's I, have, I have bone broth protein, that's what I use in the office. Okay. So. And I know I've read lots of studies about whey protein generally boosts your immune system. Mm -hmm. But there's lots of different kinds of ways, and they make them a lot of different. And some are GMO, and yes. some are not GMO, and all that other kind of stuff. So you really got to pay attention to those kinds of things. Having enough protein, if you're a vegetarian, 
can be an issue for your immune system. That can be an issue <laughs> for your immune system. You know, we've talked about that. We had, I had a patient that came in, and um, a lot of her issues health-wise were related to the fact that we just didn't have enough dietary substance. There wasn't yeah. enough food going into the body. There wasn't enough pro proper foods. Mm -hmm. Proteins would be one of those. Your body has to have the basic building blocks to be healthy, and protein is one of those things. And this is, you know, another way. The, the mucilage is another great way to get that in there as well. But you know, that's what you want to make sure you provide to your body. Is you want to provide the things that are going to be the building blocks for health. Well, here's here's an example. I mean, there are lots of diet programs out there. Most people don't realize when you're dieting, that's probably one of the highest chances of getting sick. Mm -hmm. Because if you're eating less and you're not really monitoring it properly then you may be not giving the factory enough stuff yes to make all the things that you need <laughs> and that's key yeah. you know and that's you know that's why i've always said it's so important when you're on a diet structure to have a program you know like a medically doctor supervised, supervised right yes medically, medically or doctor supervised so you can do that everything that we do in our in our office is supervised by yeah. by myself and, and so we go through the process of making sure that everything we're doing is keeping you in a state of health Right. And not weakening the system, so you and, have. And a again, what right. happens if something goes a little bit awry? You you you're you're doing the plan, but it's not quite working. If you don't have that doctor supervision to go in there and adjust it, right, and make it work for you, then you're SOL. I mean, you're, yeah. the likelihood of you getting sick is pretty it's, high. It's, you can get sick. Your success level goes down. Right. Your motivation and, uh, goes your down, motivation and goes then down, you start and then going on eating the trigger food like it, we were talking about last Exactly. Year. Exactly. <laughs> so you're here in trouble. Looking there, for right? donuts. <laughs> Where's my donut? <laughs> so, yes. Uh, I know we got about three or four minutes left in the show. Um, we want to remind everybody, again, this is the Life and Balance show, and the, the whole gist of the show mm -hmm. is that you really want to start looking at life from the big picture. Yes. You know, medicine has always been about Band-Aids, if you will. Mm -hmm. And look at individual symptoms instead of the whole person. Right. And the Life and Balance program is about the whole person. It's not the whole person. If you want to have well-being, you want to feel healthy and happy and have fun and go play golf and do all that kinds of stuff or whatever it is you want to do, look at the whole person. Don't just look at the individual pieces. Right. And the Life and Balance program is a program that's designed to look at all the pieces so you don't get the crud very often. Right. So you don't get you know sick so you can easily lose the weight, all the other things that you really yeah. want to do. And right now... They have the free Titron scan, which is really an integral part of their program that's something that they normally charge mm -hmm. for. So in the month of October, you really want to pay attention to that. If you didn't, have never had one, go get it. It's totally non-invasive, and it really produces a tremendous amount of very useful information. Mm -hmm. Much more useful information than I usually get from my doctor when, then when he puts that cold thing on my chest and says, you know, give me a breath. You know? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because a lot of times you go to the doctor, you talk to him for five minutes, and they have nothing. When you walk mm -hmm. out of Dr. John's office, a whole bunch of information has been gleaned from that visit. Yes. And generally, you're walking out of there feeling better. So definitely pay attention to that. Uh, I know you have the new uh, thermal scan. We do. We have to mention that. We are now the uh, Jacksonville's exclusive Metatherm Center. And what that means for our, for our viewers out there is you have an opportunity to come in. If you have aches, if you have pains, and one of the bigger things that we've discussed is this month is October. This is Breast Cancer Awareness right. Month. And the thermography that we use is the standard, the gold standard, the new gold standard for breast screening. And so you can utilize this and really get the service where you can come in and, and we can identify specifically what is the physiology, what is the pathology going on in the body, what are the next steps, yeah. and we can have uh, just a plethora of reports of what we need to do to take yeah. care of you. I've, I've seen the, the pictures of the scans that they're, and it's really, it's like a night and day. It's very obvious when you look at the scan, yes. Here's a problem, and here's normal. I mean, it's, it's really yes. wild when you look at it. And again, this plan, this program doesn't do any kind of radiation, which I'm a big nope. proponent of. I mean, because I know that there's lots of science that shows any kind of x-rays or anything that are bad for you. Mm -hmm. Okay? Even though those tools can be very useful in seeing different things, the problem is they do have a side effect. Yes. The, the human body doesn't like radiation. I mean, that's, that's the side effect. <laughs> <laughs> yes, so, and, you know, and you those know tools, again, we, we have to use them when we have to use right. them, for right. sure. But this gives you an option right. that's not. And generally, it's used for much earlier testing than other programs. Yeah. So Up to eight years. Here, yeah. Right? yeah. So I know that we're at the end of the show. I want to remind you that next week we're going to have another great show, probably be on thermography. Yes. Uh, so stay tuned for that. Make sure you go to the website, vibrantlifehealthcenter.com. Uh, check out the blog there. 
And give them the phone number again. It's 904-683-8177 to call and schedule for your free Titron and kind of enter into how we can change your life and get it back into balance. Until next time, guys.